Thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Franck Muller Perpetual Calendar by Retrograde. You can see and you can purchase this Curvex cased Franck Muller complication on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this Perpetual Calendar Retrograde Chronograph with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this exquisite rose gold automatic complication. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this watch has two standout features. The first is the one for which Franck Muller is most commonly known, and that is the tonneau style Curvex case. Beautifully sensuous. It's all of compound curves with nary a straight line. It's dramatic. It's iconic. It's quite frankly the heart and soul of the Franck Muller brand, because while it effectively dubs itself Master of Complications. Historically, most Franck Muller watches have been rather simple watches on ETA base movements, but this one combines that iconic case shape with true complications, retrogrades, complete calendar, perpetual calendar, moon phase, and a chronograph with automatic winding. And you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, it fits perfectly. Now, it's not one of the largest Franck Muller watches. It has a large visual signature because of the dramatic dial, case, and shape, but from lug to lug, the watch actually measures a very reasonable 47 millimeters, so even on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, I'm going to say with a great deal of confidence you could wear this watch with security and proportion. This is a versatile timepiece. In terms of thickness, it's quite slim. 14 millimeters may sound thicker than a conventional dress watch, and it is. But you can see with the generously sloped case flank and the domed sapphire that the watch will easily slide underneath a dress cuff or a tight sleeve. It has that organic, sensuous curve to it that makes it easy to slide underneath your sleeve. Now the watch from side to side measures and this is 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, 34 millimeters wide, but that's not inclusive of the crown or the chronograph pushers. Now, Franck Muller pairs this watch with a very high drilled and close coupled light brown rectangular scale alligator leather strap, monotone stitch, minimally bolstered with folded sides. It features a matching Franck Muller 18 karat rose gold fluted pin buckle for a traditional low profile. Now, of course, this Curvex Centre case is inspired by the tonneau shaped cases of the 1920s and 30s, so the watch at first glance, has a little bit of a traditional vintage vibe to it. A little bit of Vacheron, perhaps, but the watch comes into its own as a Franck Muller complication, and it's exceptional in that respect, because while Franck Muller dubs itself Master of Complications and constantly reminds you of the like on its case backs and advertising copy, finding a truly complicated Franck Muller watch short of the world premieres like the Eternitas is remarkably difficult. Most of them are three-hand watches or three-hand watches with a date powered by, in general, an ETA 2892 or sometimes a Soprod A10. In this case, you actually have what's known as the Franck Muller Caliber 7000, which is a Valshu 7750 automatic chronograph deriving a Dubois de Praz retrograde perpetual calendar module. I'm quite sure it's a Dubois de Praz with a low percentage possibility being Agenor of Geneva. Now you can see that the module itself features a complete calendar, day date month with a leap year cycle at 12 o'clock, a moon phase, and of course retrogrades for the day and the date. Now, pusher correctors on both sides control all functions of the calendar, and one of the most striking features of the dial is that it has the same kind of loft and camber as the crystal itself. The crystal is an extremely difficult part to make. I imagine a fortune was spent getting this one to curve the way it does and conform to the tight tolerances of a non-round case with fairly pointed and sharp edges. There's a tremendous amount of impressive coherence to this watch. It also has a handsome almost mid-art deco look to it with the stylized Arabic numerals, the stylized and somewhat sharp geometries of this unconventional railroad style seconds track outboard. And of course the watch manages to convey an immense amount of information without looking crowded. And that's quite a feat. We'll start up some chrono action here for your viewing pleasure. The watch also features a degree of nuance in the textures of the dial. Different forms of guilloche and rose lathe cut used throughout the dial to break up the sheer mass of it. It's also a beautiful host to a panoply of colors that surprises and delights. The longer you look at the watch, scope the indices, the subdials, 
the chapter rings, such as the gold ring surrounding the days and the date of the center dial, the blue of the gorgeous broadsword style hands. It's really a challenging watch for its owner because you can keep coming back to it and noticing new features. It's beautiful, but it's beautiful almost like a flower that's blooming. Degree by degree, it eventually presents all of its secrets to you. This is a watch you can wear with pleasure long term. With the most useful of complications in the calendar, the most romantic in the moon face, and arguably the king of complications in the chronograph, this is a watch that just about does it all. Add the iconic Franck Muller Curvex case and automatic winding, and you have a compelling proposition indeed.